disclaimer. I did not plan this to be like this tonight. We are preparing for uh, another hurricane in Florida. Nicole, my daughter, has been asked to stay and work all night at her facility as a nurse. So we usually do one chapter in the Bible or break down the chapter. We would be in Matthew chapter 10, I believe it is, if it wasn't for the hurricane. So I said to myself, well, I'll wait till Rachel comes back. And what I'll do is I'll go to my notebook and I'll take the next topic and I'll preach from that tonight. I did not call to this. This was written maybe last week. But we're going to look at the government. And just by chance, we had an election in America. And I'm going to say it. If you think you're voting was the thing to put whoever into office, you're a fool. You're not a Bible reader. You're not a Bible study. You have no idea in the realm. You think you're American. God bless America. Da, 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 da. That you are so important that you, an American, you, you confirm all the circumstances and you left out God and you left out Satan. And that the next government to come to place will be under the Antichrist. And as much as you hate socialism, as much as you hate communism, and I do, that is the government of the Antichrist. You're not going to stop God. You're not going to stop the Bible. You're not going to stop Satan. You're not going to stop the one world government because you vote in America. There is no America in the Bible. There is The only presidents you find in the Bible, Daniel was one of them, and the others were against Daniel and his God. So let's look at tonight, by the order of God, not me, <clears throat> We're supposed to do Matthew, the government. And I titled this the government because this is worldwide, earthwide. Luke chapter 4, verse 6. And we'll start in verse 5. And the devil taketh him, Jesus, up to a high mountain and showed on him all the kingdoms. It's about a kingdom, not states. It's about Jesus the king, not Jesus the president. The United States this is a figure in time that will be passed. Of the world, in a moment of time, all Satan has is a moment of time. He has, from a set date by God, to a set date, we'll see that in a moment. And he will be cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever, and that's it. And the devil said unto him, Jesus, all this power, why give thee? All the world, you know... You're going to be the president of the United States. Big deal. Satan has the ability, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world. All this power I give thee, even though it's a moment of time, I'll give you, it's temporary. It's not permanent. And the glory of the, it. There's got to be glory in the power of kingdoms and government. Because look how many people fight to get into one particular office. There have been men and women fighting to get into a seat of office in the United States. Whatever office that is. And it could be the sheriff. It could be a mayor. There have been wars. And conflicts and revolutions for man to overcome man. 
to get that power. How much blood of human lives and animals, you know, horses go into battle, donkeys go into battle, how much blood has been shed so man can get up on that pedestal called power? For this I deliver for this is delivered unto me, Satan. <clears throat> this power of kingdoms is delivered to me, Satan says, and to whomsoever I will I give it. And if thou will wilt worship me and all that on all that sign. And Jesus answered said, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and to him only thou shalt serve. Now, Jesus does not tell Satan, wait a minute, that's not yours. You can't give that up. Don't you offer what you, Jesus does not rebuke him. Satan says, I can deliver it to whoever I want to. And it, it's a scary thing to think that if, if that power came from Satan, I'm not saying all of it is. But if it comes from Satan, Luke chapter 4, Satan says, they fell down and they worshipped me. There are men and women, past, present, and future, that will attain a government office, whatever it is, a kingdom. And how they got it is not by your vote, is not what family they were born in, what gun or sword they picked up. They obtained that power because they worshiped Satan. You can sell out to Satan and he can deliver you. It's only temp. These rock stars, you know, we sell our souls to the devil so we get all these records and, and women and drugs and it's true. But look how long it lasts before they're drugged out, diseased out, dead, old news, and they wake up in hell. How many of your singers and actors come from Christian families? I, I, I think of, um, his name just went, it came in my head, it came out, um, Alex Cooper, I think his father was a preacher, I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whitney Houston came out of, of a church choir group. I believe it was Alex Cooper. I, I, I could be wrong about that one. I, I apologize if I am. Satan has the power to give government kingdoms and positions he said it here and jesus did not rebuke him he even offers it to jesus the person you voted for and if they won they either got that office by satan in order to get that office by satan the devil they had to worship him there's another side to it. We'll get to it. Look at 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. Fifteen, fifteen. I hope. Not fifteen fifteen. I apologize. Fifteen fifteen. I'm trying to read my writing. Fifteen eleven, hopefully. Fifteen eleven. Fifteen to 
And the word of the Lord came unto Samuel, saying, It repented me that I set up Saul to be king. All right, we saw in, in Luke chapter 4, Satan is able to set people in authority if they will worship Satan. 1 Samuel 15, and then there's other illustrations, but God sets up kings. Here, he's sorry he set up Saul. God can set up sorry kings. Oh, you know, President Biden, blah, blah, blah. maybe God set him up, and maybe God's like, oh, man, what? that was a flop. I'm not, I don't know who put President Biden in office, whether it be Satan or God. But God can put a king, God can put a leader in office, and that guy be a flop like King Saul was. Now later on, God will tell Samuel, go anoint David to be, and God will put David on the throne, and well pleased. A man after God's heart. Satan can put a man in office, and they, in turn, is they give Satan the worship. God can put somebody into office, and that was a flop. <laughs> That's okay. God will give a nation a ruler worthy of their sin condition. You don't like how, how President Biden, well, that's the president that God allowed. Even Satan puts the man in office. God had to prove it, Job 1 and 2. <clears throat> God can put somebody in office and be a flop, like King Saul. God can put somebody in office like David. Hey, uh, glory to God. You better be careful who you you better be careful. Bird of the air might go tell the matter. What if God put Biden in office? And you've been shooting your mouth off. I'm a born-again, Bible-believing, King James American Christian Baptist. And you've been shooting your mouth off. Peter and Paul under Nero tells us where to honor, where to pray, and where to support the government leaders, no matter who they are. I'm telling you, if you rank on, on, the, on, the, on the government, if you rank on the President of the United States, whoever the person may be, you are not a Bible believer. You are a Bible failure. Well, you know, you don't understand how bad, I can't pray for somebody, you know, he's a baby killer. Yeah, Donald Trump has gone bankrupt, Donald Trump has divorced and had affairs in between the divorces. Donald Trump is a dodge, is a, is a war dodger. And I have never read a personal testimony of Donald Trump of salvation. And I've sent Donald Trump, and I have sent President Biden gospel tracts on salvation. Neither one of them have written back to me. Ronald Reagan did. The Bushes did. Obama didn't. Clinton wrote me a letter back. I've been writing presidents since Ronald Reagan about their souls. Okay? So, you can't find vote, V-O-T-E, V-O-T-I-N-G, in the Bible. When it came for the apostles to, to get uh, an apostle to replace Judas, they didn't vote. They cast lots. And they let God determine the lot. God didn't ask the people, you want Saul? God didn't ask the people, you want David? Surely Satan won't ask you. So Matthew... 
Matthew 6, 13. Let's look at the realm of the realm of kingdom. Never mind union or state. That's not Bible. President is not Bible. Matthew 6, 13, Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine God the Father is the kingdom, pay attention to that word, and the power, pay attention to that word, and the glory forever. Amen. Pay attention to that word. Will you even think about well, you know, I don't think really God, I think he's hard and all. I think we should vote God out. Your American election, your American politics voted God out of America. Uh, one of the states I just put in my Facebook voted for the first transgender. That's not Christian. A little while ago, years ago, you voted for the first sodomite. That's not Christian. couple years before that, you had a Mormon running for the office of the president. That's not Christian. But notice God's kingdom, God's power, God's glory forever. Even though right now the devil's in the rain. And man, man has power. You can override God. It's not going to last. What if you got to heaven, Christian, and there was wood, hay, or stubble, and birds up? You say, Lord, what's that? I didn't want that politician in office. Had you voted for the other guy or allowed me and Satan to do our business, the rapture would have happened a lot sooner if you allowed me to put into office, if you allowed me to put Satan man in office, you guys would have been home sooner. We're against taxation. We don't want no taxation. Taxation brought Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem where Jesus is to be born by scriptures. If there was no taxation by the Roman government, Jesus would not have been born where the Bible said to be born. You know, the fact is, you could be voting, voting against the Bible. Well, you know, things, we've got to make things right. We've got to, we're not heading to a time of right. We're heading to the man of sin. We're heading to a seven years of Satan. Things are not going to get right. First Chronicles. First Chronicles twenty nine. Verse eleven. I'm telling you, Christians have got the wrong Trump. I want the Trump of God. I don't want the Trump of New York or Washington. I have been ill, I have been sick, but I used to say, I don't, I don't vote, I preach the gospel. I used to be a street preacher. I am right now, God has me resting, recovering, which I don't want to do, because I want to get out there and do something, but I'm recovering from health problems. If I could, if I would, if I had the means, I'd be out there preaching on the streets right now. God doesn't want me to do it. Maybe God will have me do, to do that again. I've preached 
where you had your campaigning areas and your politician areas. I've been to the I've been to the voting booths. And I've had them call the police department and they brought a tape measure to make sure I was a certain amount of distance of, that I was supposed to be, which I was. And made me turn off the application to realize that Stiley has a big mouth to preach the gospel. I voted before I stopped. First Chronicles 29:11. Thine, O Lord, this Jehovah, is the greatness. Amen. There's nothing greater than God. And the power, there's that word again. And the glory, pay attention to that word, and the victory. You know what they say when, when these politicians win? Victory, victory, victory. My victory is in Jesus Christ. My victory is in Jehovah God. Not Republican, not Democrat, not Democrat, not Republican. America's not my home. I'm a pilgrim. I'm just passing through my home. My residence is New Jerusalem. And majesty. Majesty is a word that would be used for royalty. For all that is in heaven, God's home, God's residence, that's in the earth, here we are, is thine. God owns heaven and earth. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord. Thou art exalted as head above all. Don't they say the president is the head of the government? He's the chief head? Well, yes, he is. As a resident of the United States of America, the president of the United States, whoever he or she is, why well, have a chief? Okay, he is my head. I am to pray for them. I am to, if the president came to me, whoever, I'd say, Mr. President. If it was a woman, I guess you would say, Mrs. President. I wouldn't say jerk. I wouldn't say the idiot. I wouldn't say, I don't want you to say that thing that's supposed to be the F bomb. That makes me so mad. You're disrespecting the government. You're disrespecting God. I would, if the president came, and I, if I had introduction to the president of the United States or the vice president, I would treat them with utmost respect. I'd try to shake their hand if I was able to with the secret service. I'd try to give them a gospel track. Have a good have a good day, sir. The only way, only way I wouldn't say have a good day to the President of the United States is if they were a Mormon Jehovah Witness or anything, because John says in Second John not to do it. Or the third John. But the head of all, the head of the presidency, the head of King George the Third, I think, the head of the Kremlin, the head of China. Is God Jehovah? Glory to God! Man, there, there's some of you out there. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, uh, he's not my president. Yes, he is. God put him in office. Well, the devil. You said the devil. Okay, the devil put him in office. God allowed him to be in office. According to Peter, according to Paul, he's your leader. You're supposed to be praying for him. I'm not man. No, 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 no. Okay. You're a Bible rejecter. Uh, Matthew 24, 30. Matthew 24, 30. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Second advent. And all the tribes of the earth, Jewish, mourn. They shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power. Pay attention to that word. Power is given to God. Power.
power is given to Jesus. Great is given to God, is given to Jesus. Glory. You know, the president inaugurated, they put good, great glory and great finances and, and the well-established parties and champagnes and meals and food. Oh, you wait till you get to heaven if you're saved. He shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet. Not Trump, Donald Trump. They shall gather his elect. That's the Jews. That ain't Republicans and Democrats, my friend. That's the Jewish people. <coughs> Excuse me. You might be using the word elect for an unsaved politician. That word elect is, is, is given to Jesus. That word elect is given to Jews. That word elect is given to Christians. You might be giving that word elect to an unsaved man. Be careful your Bible doctrine. Be careful your Bible words. Be careful of replacement theology. Jude. Jude, very last verse. To the only wise God, Satan is a God, but he's not God. Our Savior, that's Jesus. God, our Savior, is Jesus, Mr. Jehovah Witness. Be glory, recognize that word? Majesty, recognize that word? Dominion. The president has dominion over the 50 states. God has dominion over all, over all. And power, there's that, there's that word again, both now and ever, forever, glory, majesty, dominion, power, God, our Savior, God, Jesus, forever. If God put Biden in the White House, many of you are not giving him the glory, the majesty, the dominion, the power. Now you are rebuking, you are rebelling. Even Satan put that man in office. I don't know who did. I pray for the president. I pray for his wife, Jill. I didn't know he had children. Something, something going on with his son. Well, here she was going on in your family's perfect, right? You got the hey, 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 hey! If you're so smart, you're so great, you're so wonderful, you run for office, you run for the president of the United States. Let's see how well you do. You know what my jury, the president, say when they got out of the White House? Their term has ended. I'd never do that again. What was wrong with me? You ever see the pre they take a picture of the president when he goes in when he goes in the office and at the end of his four years or eight years. You see how old they got? And then look at that word again, amen. Look at the words associated with the power of God. Not the power of the White House. Not the power in voting. Revelation 4, 11. Revelation 4, 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord God, Jesus, to receive glory you don't glorify God when you rebel against him. You don't glorify God when you rebel against the government. Paul and Peter, the government was Nero. 
Nero tortured and killed Christians, and they said, you better support the government. You better pray for the leader. You better obey the powers that be. Honor and power for thou has created the creator. Jesus, Savior, God, Lord, Jehovah, Creator, all things. Not an evolutionist. How many of your presidents are evolutionists? How many of them deny creation? And for thy pleasure, God's pleasure, they are and were created. Chapter 5. Verse 12, saying with a loud voice, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, capital L, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, now watch the word, was slain to receive power, riches, riches beyond all the riches that any politician can have. And politicians got riches. The amount of money they spend and waste to get into an office. My God owns it all. Wisdom. Strength. And that strength is not in nuclear and armies and marines and air force and coast guard and, and the oil companies and the tycoon companies. The strength and honor. Glory and blessing. Every creature that's in heaven, cherubims, angels, on the earth, cows, pigs, dogs, cats, under the earth, earthworms, moles, such as are in the seas, dolphins and whales, all that there is, heard I say, heard I saying, blessed, happy, Honor, glory, power be unto him that sitteth on the throne, not the Oval Office, not Buckingham Palace, not the Red Square, on the throne, a kingdom, a king, unto the Lamb, Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords forever, and that's not enough, and ever. 19. 19. Well, what did you do for the government? Before the election day, when I got up yesterday for the election day, I said, Lord God, to you be the glory and honor Whoever you want in the offices to bring forth your word, to bring forth the rapture, the Antichrist, the peace in Jerusalem, the salvation of the Jews, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the millennium. Lord, you override, steal whatever you need to do, what votes to be done, to put into office who you want and who the devil wants for your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 19.1 And after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying Hallelujah! Salvation! The president can't give you salvation. All these They're looking for the salvation of Donald Trump. He can't give it. Glory, honor, power unto the Lord 
our God. That's it. There it is. God. Now, what happens to Satan? The devil. Chapter 20, verse 10. The one that people will worship, and he will sell to them government. For a moment of time. Here's the moment of time. Revelation 20, verse 10. The devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. Where the beast and the false prophet are, the beast is the Antichrist, and shall be tormented day and night forever <laughs> and ever. So the reign and the power of God and his son Jesus, and the temperance of the power of Satan, while God reigns, Satan will be in will be in the lake of fire. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to the Lamb. Let God be true. And every man a liar. 